What's up today guys? I figure I do all these Articat videos. I'm going to show you how to test the stator on the 800 Suzuki motor made by Articat from 2010 right up I believe to 2017 or 2018. Um, this is a batteryless stator. So we've got three plugs and I'm going to go through the testing what each one does and what it should read. So the first thing we're going to be testing is black, red, and green red on the black plug-in right here. And these can be a little bit temperish to get a connection on, but just take your time. You'll know when you get it because you'll see it. There we go. And you just hold it there and wait. So we're looking for between 7.2 and 10. So that checked out. Just double check here again. Boom, so there, we test it good on that. Next thing we're gonna test, we're looking for the exact same sort of number. It's the second charge coil, and it's gonna be brown, white, and green, red on the same plug-in. So brown, white, green, red, so outside to outside. A little bit tricky to get a connection there. There we go. Oh. I must not have a proper connection here on that because this stator tested good already. Let me just double check. Brown, white. Oh, sorry. I'm testing the wrong thing. It's brown, white, green, red. Brown, white, green, red. So it's not outside to outside, it's centered outside. And there, boom, we tested 8.8, .8, so we're within spec. 7.2 to 10.8 is what you want. The next thing we want to test is the lighting coil. This is what they call the lighting coil. So your center is just a ground, your O2 is yellow and yellow. When you test this, we're looking for 0. Or 0 0.08 and 0 0.12 ohms on yellow to yellow. So let's see what we get. I better get a steadier connection here. These can be a real, real tardy thing to get a connection on. There we go. Let's see what this gives us. Point 0.1.2. Is that what we're after? Here, there we go. So zero point one is basically what we're after, so that's perfect. So next test is Next test we're after blue white and blue white. And that's the injection coil. And we are looking for 15.2 to 22.8 ohms on this test. This one could be tricky to get a connection. Oh. So 18.2 we're perfectly in spec. 
Next thing we're going to be testing is orange to orange, which is for your fuel pump. And what we want to see on that is 1.5 to 2.2 ohms. Let's see what we get here. Perfect. So that is your basic ohm test on a stator for an F1000, a Crossfire 800, an F800, an XF800, an M8000, so on and so forth. If it got an 800 Suzuki motor in it, batteryless, this is the stator it's going to have. And that is how you test it. Now I will say, if you're doing this in the machine, it's uh, it can be a little bit tedious to get connection. I need to get a new end. Um, I've got a long prong in this one, but I've only got a short prong in this, so that's half my battle to get the connection there. But everything tested within spec. Um, so we're going to go through a few more electrical things, show you how to test them and what they're supposed to read as well. All right, guys, so what we have here is the two ignition timing sensors. And a uh, pretty simple test once again to test these. But we'll give you the numbers to go by. Hopefully you can see that multimeter okay. So we're going to take this first one, and we are looking for... Um, do, 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 do. This fella is green, white, brown, green, I believe. So we want 142 to 222 ohms when we do this test. This one's going to be super tricky to get a connection on, but we'll get it. So boom, 182, that's within spec. That's the first sensor. Second one is the same test. You're looking for the same numbers. You want to be between 142 and 222 ohms. Now I will say, um, sometimes when you conduct these tests at room temperature and cold, it might not give you the same numbers as when the machine is hot, so sometimes sensor failure will happen when you're out driving the machine using it hard. Sometimes they'll die for no reason, then you get home, and when you do these tests, everything tests good, but um, I recommend if you have a sled giving you issues like that to keep the multimeter on the trail with you. Um, so there's another sensor that's within spec that's how you test them and they're basically just magnetized as you see the bolt sticks to them so that's how you test those so the next thing we're going to show you how to test is the ignition coils and there's primary and secondary with these at least it says it is but to me they all look to be the same so anyway, we are looking for, it says, 0 0.24 to 0 0.36 ohms on this test. So let's see what we get here. tricky to get connection on some of these. Had it and I lost it. Hold on. You gotta be patient with this stuff, especially if you don't get the best of the best gear to work with.
0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 looks to be our number, which is in the spec because it's calling for 0 0.2 to 0 0.3. So that's uh, another perfect test. Real tricky to get connection on these buggers. There it is, 0 0.2 again. So that's how you test your ignition coils. Just for I'm going to test the rest of these to see if it's different here because I'm looking at something that doesn't make sense. All right, guys. So to do the other end of this test, um, you actually got to on-thread the wire out. And what you're looking for is white blue wire to the high tension wire in here. We are looking for five to seven thousand ohms is within spec. So set the multimeter here for you to see. testing this hole and the white wire. So there we have it 6.3 K which gives us 6300. So that's within spec. So that is how you test all those things. I hope it helps some of you out with your problems. So just something else I want to note. When you put your wire back in your coil, you can still conduct the same test at this wire end, but it's going to give you a different number because it's through the plug wire. Um, so the test is meant to be conducted right here, which is the 5 to 7K. Um, if you test at the end of the cap, you should get readings between 10 and 11K. So I'll just show you that real right quick. And then you know that your plug wire is good as well. Because I've actually got one here out of four that has a bad plug wire. And there's... See it going up 10.9K. So... 10s, high 10s, low 11s is a good number to have if you're testing right at the plug cap. So anyway, that's what I conducted for this test. Like I say, hope it helps you guys out with some of your troubles. Um, maybe we'll do some more tests in the future.